downstairs. I didn't believe it either. Until I saw one with my own eyes. I always felt like I was different. And I came into the sport and I wanted to see what I could do. I want to take it as far as I could take it. He had good shape. Everybody decries Dorian Yates' shape, but he's got the shape, he's got the proportions. And Lee Hanging knew he was a threat. What can separate the guy from first and second and third? It's all up there, that's, that's the key. That was all I did, I trained, I eat, I sleep. Lasered on that thing that was doing nothing else. That was the regime that I lived for, for many years and that's why I was able to beat other people that could be argued they were more gifted than me but they weren't willing to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning Mr. Olympia, Dorian Yates. I never showed my physique. Even in the gym, with the guys that I trained with, I was covered up all the time. If you want to look at my physique, I did it at home. I didn't want them to know anything about me. So I'd just be like an enigma. This next contestant, he has a heart of a lion. And, you know, I doubt if anybody trained harder than this guy. This guy's a first class and a monster at 260 pounds, and as I've heard, better than ever before, Mr. Dorian Yates.
I was 300, 310 in the off season, 265 lean as fuck, shredded. I had a nice physique when I started, you know, I had a nice physique, I had nice abs and everything. But if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this to the max. I'm going to see how big can I get, how ripped can I get, how strong can I get. I want to go to the max. I don't want people to say, wow, that's a nice pretty physique. I want people to say, what the fuck? Life and death, one set. I was known for like super hard, grainy quality, muscle density. Powerful look to my physique that the other guys when they stood next to me, they didn't have that. And that was just from really heavy training. Something's painful, you don't want to do it, right? But if you can overcome that, other obstacles in life are not going to be so difficult when you come to face them. Sometimes life is sunny, sometimes there's a fucking storm. You know, that's life. And what are you going to do in the storm?